Hey Bombshells, it's Sherry and this is a tutorial that my friends and my girlfriends that I hang out with said is a absolute must do for all of you. One reason is because they think it is so hilarious that A. I drink Starbucks non-stop all day and I can still sleep eight hours and B that I know how to take any drink at that place and cut out all kinds of ingredients and make it taste exactly the same as the original with about a thousand calories less and I really can do that so they were saying to me, um, they were one day we were sitting there and they were throwing out all these flavors. How about this one? How about that one? How about this one? I said, how about that, 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 that? And so in my mind, I kept going, okay, well, if you replace this with this, with this, with this, with this, it'll taste like this. So um, I decided, well, they decided with me, we picked... Um, five of the most popular drinks that people get when they go to Starbucks and um, took out, they wanted me to either like reduce the sugar or change um, something about them but have them taste absolutely amazing. So I decided to go ahead and do that. and. The first thing I decided we went, okay, the first drink we decided to try to manipulate was the most famous one they do have, and that is, of course, the mocha. Everybody loves a uh, cafe mocha, um, which has normally espresso and milk and um, a nice dark chocolate base. And um, most of the time, it does have whipped cream on top. Those can range all the way up to a thousand calories. They really can. And with the new year coming around, I know a lot of buddies are out there trying to lose a little bit of poundage. So why not cut that back? Totally can cut that back to taste absolutely amazing and only have a smidge of calories. I'll tell you how to do it. And it's big, real big. Okay, so what are we gonna do to change the mocha? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. To change the mocha to taste exactly like a Hershey dark chocolate bar. I'm telling you, absolutely delicious. You go ahead and this is what you ask for at Starbucks. I'm not sure how it would correlate at other places, um, at other like little places to get coffee but this is how it works at Starbucks and they are really really delicious okay so the first one is like I said the mocha it would be a venti you can either do decaf half calf or just regular Americano okay Americano is basically water and espresso but just wait, it gets really, really yummy. And you say, with that, three pumps of mocha, a pump of sugar-free vanilla, and three pumps of sugar-free caramel, and seven Splenda. Now, if you have them fill it all the way to the top with water, and they stir it up, when you take a drink of that, you are gonna be shocked at how how delicious it is. Now, depending on your palate and depending on the barista, you may need to add just a smidge of a little of non-fat milk or half and half or even a little bit more Splenda or a little bit less Splenda because again it depends who's making it and it depends on your palate. But I guarantee you this drink is absolutely amazing. Okay. So let's move on from the mocha and let's go ahead and move to the peppermint patty. This one is absolutely delicious also. This one's just a little bit changed. Um, you go ahead and you take a venti, again Americano, and this time only add two pumps of mocha, add 
three pumps of sugar-free peppermint and one pump of sugar-free vanilla. Don't freak out here, but nine Splenda and filled all the way to the top and stirred. And again, it tastes just like a peppermint patty. Now, let me tell you, the mocha only has like 50 calories. 50. That's it. That's it. And the peppermint patty has about 40 calories. And they're absolutely amazing. Again, it depends on the barista and it depends on your palate, how sweet you like them. But they're absolutely so delicious. Now, who doesn't love a vanilla latte? Now, we're not switching it from to soy and non-fat milk, nothing like that. Many of you do not know, you can take in to Starbucks some plain unsweetened coconut milk, which only has for eight ounces, 50 calories, or you can go ahead and get some plain non-flavored um, and unsweetened almond milk for 35 calories. And you take that in there and they will steam it up and add it to sugar-free vanilla. And you go ahead and you have your yummy little latte. And I'm telling you what, it just shrunk that puppy down to 35 calories. Amazing. Okay, that's three drinks. What do we have next? We're bringing on the Frappuccino. Now, I'm gonna take a Frappuccino that's a very rough one, a very, very high calorie Frappuccino, and that is the strawberry. Now, believe it or not, with the strawberry Frappuccino, what you can do to make it a lot more figure friendly, you take the Frappuccino itself. Of course, we're gonna have to knock out the whipped cream, but you can bring a little bit back if you want to. There's nothing wrong with having a little bit of Okay, but what we're gonna do is take it to the non-fat milk, or you can bring your coconut milk, it's up to you. But they do use a base on this one. But a lot of people don't know, they do add some simple syrup to it. Knock out that syrup, add five Splendas to it, and with the non-fat milk or with the coconut or almond milk you just knocked out so many more calories it, it really does cut down I mean to 150 to 200 again I don't know the exact calorie count I'm not like a magician in my head that knows nutrition charts all over the place okay girls that are my friends don't say a word okay we all know what my job was and all that kind of stuff too it's funny I love to eat no, I love my jello bites. <laughs> okay, so we went ahead and we did the strawberry um, frappuccino. And let's go ahead and do the coffee frappuccinos are super de duper easy. You can go ahead and with the coffee frappuccino, um, you can go ahead and either get a decaf. And if you get a decaf, they're going to use espresso shots instead of the base. And again, you can use your... Um, the non the almond milk or you can use your coconut milk or the non-fat milk and also always ask for the sugar-free syrups and then with the coffee there's not even any of the syrups in there anyways it's pretty not very sweet if you go ahead and you add a few splendas to it it makes a world of difference now if you are all natural Stevia works wonders. Just go on out there and get Stevia and they have plenty out there these days. Some with fiber and all kinds of stuff. You put fiber in these drinks, babies, you're knocking out a ton of calories. For every 12 grams of fiber, that's knocking out 100 calories that it takes your body to burn. So there you go. You can go ahead and bring your little bit of fiber and pour it in your drink and stir it on up and drink it on down. And there you go. 
it just burns more calories with your lattes and your frappuccinos. Now, I only did this because my girlfriends insisted because they always laugh at me and they say, Sherry, your drinks are like all crazy. Everybody always asks for them where we go and all that kind of stuff. And everyone laughs at me and we'll be at the mall. They'll be like, oh, that has to be Sherry's drink. But I don't. I honestly, my favorite drink, we already know it's on that card. I love my Americano with my mocha and all the fixins and all that kind of stuff. I don't add the fiber or anything like that, but I do love it so much. So good. That and Tivana. I love you too. But anyways, um, I did this again just to help out maybe with some of those New Year's resolutions and um, for some of my little girlfriends out there. I hope you enjoy it. Again, this is not anything to ha tell people to help you know with losing weight or any of that kind of stuff it's just for fun and to show you how you can manipulate recipes i am writing a cookbook right now and this i guess it's kind of like a little taste a little taste of my little cookbook so anyways bombshells i hope you all have a great day i to get my little remote here and i hope you all had a wonderful holiday and you're getting your um new year's resolutions ready and if um getting things a little bit more healthy and figure fluttering recipes just a little bit more as part of it i hope these helped so you all have a great bombshell day see you later